Okay, Rita. We get to go for a little spin today. Are you as excited as me? That's been known to happen. First obstacle, check. Teamwork makes the dream work. It keeps the farm going. I mean, that right there is a win in itself. It is. Okay, well, we have another bottle, baby. Look at his little nose. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, Rita, we get to go for a little spin today. Are you as excited as me? Okay, good. some her up in her. Alrighty. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited for a little tractor therapy today. A little Rita therapy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am. Even if it's for just a couple hours. It'll be good. Um, yeah, so this shouldn't take long. It's a long haul though. It's like five miles or so from the house, which uh, we don't usually have to travel that far, but it's not a hard drive. Up and down, a little bit, uh, mostly paved, and then a dirt road, and a really tight gate that I've been warned about. And then, and then there's that, that power pole what do you call those when it's the whole structure, whatever, that thing that I've got to look out for that I mentioned in the last video. So you'll see. We'll get it. Some of y'all have asked about radios we use. Well, these were very, very expensive. I don't know, ICOM, but they really do not work well for us. And the battery, the batteries haven't been lasting at all. I looked into buying new ones and the batteries were like a couple hundred dollars, I think. These were several hundred dollars, several hundreds of dollars. And now it's doing something, it's on some busy signal and we can't figure it out. If anybody out there has or knows good radios, I mean, we're in a bad spot because we have so many hills and trees, but if anybody knows, these are marine radios. So anyway, um, if you happen to know or have suggestions for good radios, we're all, we're all ears. I didn't even bring snacks. This isn't supposed to take so long. I did bring water though, in case we break down and get stuck in a really hot hay field. That's been known to happen. Here's open. He's leaving me.
sure that we were on the same page. So here we go. There. 
equipment. We have a little bit of that around here. That's where we're going. It's really hilly here too. And we're off again. It's a, it's a smallish field. Rita down to the house so I can blow all the hay off of her. She deserves that. <laughs> I was coming out here to do that. <laughs> I really was. <laughs> so hot though. <laughs> Thank you. That's right there. Hold that and it'll rush right in there because she can't get out for the wheel. Oh, okay, that makes sense. You feel better, Rita? You feel better now? I think so. Mm. Ah. I came out to the barn to get some meat and he was sniffing something on the ground that I knew looked like a placenta. So I just came to see what we might have. And I will be darned. Stella, you had a baby. You actually had a baby. We had no idea. <sighs> Way to go, Mama. Way to go, Mama. What did you do? 
Stella, you had a baby. You had a baby. We got a baby to get in the barn. Okay, well, we have another bottle baby. Just, just when we got rid of one. We didn't think Stella was bred. We've been keeping her comfortable and fed, just thinking she was in her last days. We knew she had been turned out with a bull, but just didn't think, didn't think she was able to get bred anymore or had called. Never looked pregnant. Oh, here we go. Another one. Came to check on Jingo. You named him Jingo Bingo? Yeah, his middle name's Bingo Bingo. <laughs> Jingo Bingo Bernard. You're probably going to call him. Uh, we're trying to decide whether Jingo goes in the barn or can stay with mom out here. That would be better. He's very, very sweet. <laughs> He's very sweet. Oh my gosh. Where are you going, buddy? You got corn on you. <laughs> <laughs> Jingo Bingo. Cutie cutie tootie tootie. <laughs> he just wants to lay down. Jingo said, I just want to lay down. I must have a belly full. Look at his little nose. <laughs> when he breathes, it's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> he likes it right there. Yeah, I think he's pretty content. <laughs> Turn the gas on. Time to fill up. Fill up, buttercup. What are you doing, Clara? Where you at, Elmo? Aren't you eating your breakfast? <laughs> huh? Hey, buddy. You started. That little... That little black and white doggy <laughs> make you not want to eat. All right, we're leaving. We're gonna go feed the others. You can finish eating. Bonnie, tell everybody good morning. Evidently, I didn't show you enough in the last video. Good gracious. Forgive me, everybody. Oh, oh, she smells so bad. Yeah. Bonnie likes, uh, likes the new calf. And likes uh, the new calf poop and yeah mm -hmm. so that's great bonnie's gonna have to get a bath come on bonnie get in stinky dog stinky stinky dog you are not good not really good way to start the day two little stinky peas in a pod gus and bonnie yep yeah, that's what we are <laughs> Get it, girls. We couldn't find him. Here he is. Good morning. Good morning. Jingo bingo. <laughs> Just jingo. Jingo. Okay. I'm a sweet boy. I know that. <laughs> I'm a sweet boy. With the weeds. In the weeds. <laughs> mm. You're a cutie tootie, that I know. We've um, we've decided to try to let Jingo nurse Stella out here instead of bringing him in and trying to bring her in. She's so old, she has a hard time getting around. So 
That's, that's the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> He's been sitting out there for 20 minutes trying to decide what to do today. Trying to decide what to plant, where to plant, replant, work, do. <laughs> uh, bless his heart. It's hard to know because you don't know. Trying to see if it's dry enough to work or push sand, right? Push sand so we can get in here and plant something. Sorghum? Is that the plan? Marijuana. Okay, he's just kidding. Sorghum. Maybe. Good stand of crabgrass. <laughs> what do you think, Gussie? pretty full. Sure hope we don't get anything from this crystal bowl. There's deer. Deer running across the field. <laughs> snaky, snaky, snaky. All the snakies. This is like the fourth I've seen this week. Lawrence likes black snakes. Well, he says they're nothing to be scared of anyway. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at his belly. That's a big one. Woo. <laughs> I don't need to touch it. Just get a good I got a good, he's, I got him. He's good. Okay, little buddy. Go do your thing. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> yeah. I like them too. You like them? I've had them like a couple before. You've never picked one up though. Mm -hmm. Not by yourself. Oh, that ain't so cute. Yeah. If it's not poisonous, then it gets to live around here. Yeah. Unless I catch some baby rabbits. Oh, yeah. 
unless it's eating baby rabbits or bluebirds. Yeah. We don't take kindly to them eating our bluebirds. So. She just said, Mama, Mama, look. You see what's in her hand? She makes, she wants me to think she's holding a real snake, but I happen to know she has a fake snake. Yeah, yeah. This girl of mine. You threw a snake on the roof. Are you serious? <laughs> I know it wasn't real, but that was a pretty, that was a pretty good little trick you did. Huh? What? Where? Did you really throw it on the roof? <laughs> oh my gosh. Where? Now we have a fake snake on the roof. Oh, a fake <laughs> well, it was a fake it'll come off next time it rains, I reckon. Um, no, not. So. If it gets stuck on one of those.